The Cleveland Browns travel to Atlanta to face the Falcons on Sunday. Atlanta, a three-point favorite on BetDAC, 47 the total in this game. Now, the Falcons have won two straight games. They've got it back to four and six. And incredibly, if the season ended today, they would make the playoffs. They're tied with New Orleans atop the NFC South, and they would win the tiebreaker based on their week one win over the Saints, even though those teams still have to play. But you look at what the Falcons have done as a whole, it's really not very impressive. Their four wins have come over New Orleans back in week one. Then they've beaten the Tampa Bay Bucks twice, and they beat Carolina by just two points last week. They rank last in the NFL in total defense, also last in passing defense. And they're facing a balanced Cleveland offense here. The Browns top half of the league in both pass yards per game and rush yards per game. Now, Cleveland is fairly conservative offensively. They've produced 24 points or fewer in five consecutive games. They only scored seven against the Houston Texans in a loss last week. So there are some concerns here on the Cleveland side. That is why the Falcons are a favorite in this game. But you know what? I just don't think the Falcons can be trusted. Talked about how they haven't beaten anybody this season. The strength of their team is their offense. They rank 10th in the NFL in total offense, 6th in pass yards per game. But you know if you've seen them play recently, they've really changed what it is they do on offense. They're getting the ball out of Matt Ryan's hands a lot quicker, a lot more three-step drop stuff, not near as much of the five-step drop downfield passing that this Atlanta offense has been known for over the past few years. That is their strength, this wide receiving core, Julio Jones, Roddy White, and Matt Ryan, of course, has the ability to deliver it down the field. But because of the offensive line issues, they just haven't been able to do that. They've become more of a dink and dunk attack. They only produced 19 points in their win over Carolina last week. And Cleveland has a solid defense. They're especially good in the secondary. They're not very good against the run, but Atlanta struggles to run the ball anyway. So I think this is a pretty good matchup for the Cleveland defense. And I've picked against the Browns a lot this season, but... I think this is a pretty good spot for them right here. I think they're a little bit better than the Falcons are. Not a whole lot of people eager to get behind the Browns because, after all, they're the Browns, and occasionally they have laid an egg, like last week against the Houston Texans, like a month ago when they lost to the Jacksonville Jaguars 24-6. But you look at what Cleveland has done, has done as a whole. Just, last, just two weeks ago, excuse me, they beat the Cincinnati Bengals 24-3. They have been close to dominant at times on defense. And the Falcons, I still feel like they're a broken team. They're rotten at the core, not good on the line of scrimmage on offense or defense. Cleveland is good on the line of scrimmage. They can run the football. Well, they're not so good against the run, but they're better up front on defense than the Falcons are anyway. And the Browns do have a good secondary. So I think the wrong team is favored here. I look for Cleveland to win this game outright. Wouldn't shock me if the Falcons won the game. They certainly have the capability on offense to put up some points, but we just haven't really seen much evidence of that in recent weeks. So I think Cleveland goes down to Atlanta and picks up a win over the Falcons. I also lean towards under 47 here.